Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning players. Managers, coaches, parents. What a beautiful day out here, opening day. Uh, I'm Damon Jensen, the league president. Want to welcome everybody. All right, let's get started. How about a big round of applause for our drum line? Thanks, guys. That was great. We really appreciate you guys coming out, getting all of us pumped up. That sounds awesome out there. Okay, at this time, we'd like to introduce the uh, Travis Air Force Base Honor Guard. Hey, hats off, everybody. This time, I'd like to introduce Marie Bautista, our local Vacaville Idol winner, and a 10-year-old student from Notre Dame. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we walked. Were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say. 
the land of the free. And the home of the Thank you. Thank you, the honor guard. Thanks very much. Okay, at this time, I'd like to recognize all the managers and all the coaches. We appreciate your time, your dedication to our kids. Let's give them a round of applause. This league cannot run without you guys participating in your dedication, so thank you very much. Okay, now I want to introduce a group of people who helped to run this league and make it what it is today. When I call your name, please step out to the pitching mound. The 2013 Vacaville Pony Board members are Joe Wynn, Melanie Levengood, Debbie Breedwell, Chico, Daryl Reddick, Dirk Biasi, Marlena DeSell, Danielle Pippen, Leslie Jensen, John Danielson, Sonia McClellan, Allison Bill Lobos, Karen Cedris, Dusty Holt, Jim Vaughn, Brandy Agayu, Jessica Hume, Carly Selby, and Dave Fox. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, this league needs you guys. Let's give them a big round of applause. Now I'd like to introduce our fabulous fundraising lady, Ms. Danielle Pippen. Okay, I'm gonna try and make this. When we start out um, the league with registration, we are over $35,000 in the hole just starting out. So fundraising isn't an option, it's a necessity. Without fundraising and the snack bar, um, we wouldn't be able to function and we wouldn't even be here. So I wanna thank everybody who participates in fundraising because it really keeps our league alive. Um, so this year, prizes for the kids that sell the most raffle tickets. Anybody who sold five books or more gets two tickets to the Giants game. And so um, we had a couple kids, that, quite a few kids that did that and were really um, honored. Um, Um, so I'm going to just do the kids that sold the most raffle tickets, and if you hear your name, I want you to come on up here. Um, third place selling the most raffle tickets and winning a baseball bat of their choice is Caden Holt. Come on up, bud. Now, um... Every year we usually have a couple kids that really go above and beyond. And for since we've started this raffle, um, the same kid has gotten first place. He really tries really hard 
and he goes above and beyond most everybody. Um, this year he happened to get second place. There was one guy that sold a couple more than him, but they were really neck and neck. It was really close. So Bubba Singh, come on up, bud. Um, so first prize, which is um, amazing to me, this um, family and child sold 20 raffle books, which is huge, and it's so helpful. So for first prize, the child that wins an iPad is a Joss Patrill. If you can come on up, bud. Um, I'd also like to um, recognize, um, so the goal is for every child to sell one raffle book, which is 12 tickets, it's $60. If everybody did that in the league, if every child just sold one book, we wouldn't have to do any other fundraising or try and raise money. It would be enough and we'd have money to be able to put in the fields and that kind of thing. Unfortunately, we usually fall a little bit short. Um, this year we decided to do a team party for any team that every kid did sell their uh, raffle book. And we had six, uh, I'm, excuse me, seven. And I'd like those managers and team moms to come up here with us as well. I'm just going to go real quick. Mustang Orioles, coach and manager, I mean coach and team mom. Uh, Pinto Red Sox, Pinto Nationals, Bronco Brewers. Bronco Red Sox, Mustang Angels, and Bronco Reds. If you team moms and managers can come on up. Okay, so we have a dugout organizer. It's right over here. You guys probably can't see it, but it's a really cool thing. It travels with the coaches. And I wanted to raffle that off amongst the teams here that did their, um, did their part and made sure every kid on their team sold their book. Um, for you other managers, you know, maybe talk to these guys because I, I, um, I know Joe Wynn especially had some really cool ideas on how to motivate his team. Um, you know, for next year, you guys can all be standing up here. So the manager that's going to get that dugout organizer is... <laughs> Pinto Red Sox, Harvey Go. And then... Um, Chevrolet was kind enough to do some donations for us. They did the dugout organizer and the two hitting nets here. And um, so the top two teams are going to get the little kit here, which is the hitting net, the batting tee, and the bucket of balls. So those two um, top teams, um, the one of the top teams was the Mustang Orioles. So where's your man? And the other top team was the Pony Twins. And um, I would just say you seven managers here whose team sold all your bucket, bucket uh, pamphlets, that you owe your team mom lunch or dinner, for sure. So, um, I think that's it for you guys, except for each manager, um, excluding the two that won that. If you wanted to grab one of these buckets, the bucket's for you, and go ahead and grab it and then go back with your team. Thank you.
Okay, real quick, if you want to get your raffle tickets out, if you have them, we're going to draw the three winners. They do not have to be present to win, so I'm going to pull these out. Well, the boys are going to. So for third place for the drawing that gets $100, Ticket number 4255, David Erickson. And then for second place, getting $200. is ticket number 1122, Rob Watson. For the big prize, 500 bucks. So the $500 winner is ticket number 11330, Fontaine. So a round of applause for those winners, please. Thank you. try and run through this real quick. Um, we're going to raffle off the rest of these buckets for the managers. Um, I wish we had gotten uh, a bucket for everybody, a ball bucket, um, but we appreciate everything you do and um, you guys are part of the center stone that makes us uh, run. So we got all the managers here and we're going to, so we call your name, come grab a bucket and take it back to your team. Bronco, uh, Marlins, Mike Brown. Mustang Orioles, Joe Edwards. Bronco Blue Jays, Dennis Selby. A, uh, Bronco A's, Christopher Cardwell. Grab your choice. Take it back. One. Um, Pony Braves. Dan Hoffman. The Pinto Nationals. I didn't have the manager's uh, name down, but if you can come down and grab a bucket, that'd be great. The Pinto Nationals manager. Robert Buchanan. Robert Buchanan. Robert Buchanan. Bronco Mets manager, Derek Johnson. Mustang Pirates, Danny Marillo. Bronco Indians, Paul Hergus.
kids get to go in early to the park before the general public. They get a special uh, prize or giveaway. Um, it's a six o'clock game. The kids get to go in at two. Um, and they have a question and answer session with some coaches, the announcer, and some players. Um, the kids get to parade on the field um, as a team before the game. Um, your seat for the game and um, a good time. Um, we do have bleacher seats available for 45 and we have some view reserve which is the top level but it's right behind the plate for 35. So we'll be selling tickets uh, behind home, home dugout if you can um, come see us and get those. Thank you. All right, thank you Danielle. Please remember we have to continue to support all the fundraising events and activities, so let's help out. Now I'd like to recognize the 2012 All-Star teams that went out and competed against other cities. When your team is called, players, managers, and coaches, please come out to the pitching mound. Pinto Red and Pinto Blue. All players, head on out. Mustang Nines. Mustang 10s, Bronco 11s, Bronco 12s, and how about any of you pony guys that went last year? guys, no walking on the baseball field. Let's give a big round of applause for our All-Stars 2012. Great job, guys. Let's do it again this year. Okay, now I'd like to introduce all the teams, the 2013 Back of Little Pony teams. Okay, let's start off right here with the Pinto A's. Their sponsor is Eagle Eye Engraving. Next, I want to have the Braves, Pinto Braves. Their sponsor is American Bridge. Let's have the Pinto Diamondbacks. Their sponsor is Via Corona. Have the Dodgers. They are sponsored by Shellworth Chevrolet. And the Giants. They are sponsored by Round Table Pizza. Sponsored by Andy Pignatero State Farm. And the Pinto Yankees, sponsored by Burger King. And our Pinto Nationals, sponsored by Les Schwab Tires.
All right, now we're on the Mustang, the Mustang Angel, sponsored by Shredders Foundation. The Mustang A's, sponsored by Victoria Barrows Ortiz, State Farm. And the Dodgers, sponsored by Capel and Capel. And the Giants, sponsored by Willard's Cleaners. And the Indian, sponsored by Critical Intervention Patrol. Next, we have the Marlins, sponsored by Tamara Hansen, Capel and Capel. Next, we have the Orioles, sponsored by Vacaville Appliance. Next, we got the Pirates, sponsored by Marillos. And we have the Twins, sponsored by Dr. Brian Scott. Don't step on the, don't step on the chuck. Wave at the fans, wave at all your friends. Wave at all your fans. All right, on to the Broncos. I gotta play my drum. We have the A's, sponsored by Batters Box. Next, we have the Giants, sponsored by Sports Authority. Next, we have the Indians, sponsored by SGS Hairgoop Laboratories. Next, we have Marlins, sponsored by Forbes Security. Next, we got the Mets, sponsored by American Bridge. Next, we got the Blue Jays, sponsored by Vacaville Honda. Then we have the Brewers, sponsored by 4M Contracting. Next is the Cubs, sponsored by Vaca Valley Mortgage.
Next is the Orioles, sponsored by Ad Specialties. And we have the Red Sox, sponsored by Black Oak Restaurant. Come on, guys. Then we have the Reds, sponsored by Fitz Perfect Windows and Doors. Okay, now we have the Twins, sponsored by Jungle Yogurt. All right, now for our pony division. We have the A's, sponsored by Anduho's Drywall. Come on, smile, guys. Next, we have the Braves, sponsored by Fitz Perfect Windows and Doors. Next, we got the Cardinals, sponsored by Shellworth Chevrolet. And the Giants, sponsored by Buffalo Wild Wings. Next, we have the Padres, sponsored by Sassoon Valley Sheet Metal. Next is the Phillies, sponsored by North Bay Aviation. We have the Twins, sponsored by McDonald's. And last but not least, our Yankees, sponsored by The Reporter. Okay, as they get lined up, I'd like to acknowledge uh, we have, this year is our 10th anniversary. And I hope we have a few people here. Uh, if you could stand up, those people that were here 10 years ago, please stand up. That was the start of Pony. There's a couple, let's give them a round of applause. We have grown to 37 teams this year. And we thank every one of those people that started this off. We have grown very large, and look at all these kids out here. That's a testament to that hard work done 10 years ago. Thank you. All right, now for our ceremonial first pitch to start off our season. I'd like to introduce our uh, council member for Vacaville, and his name is Mitch Mashburn. Debbie. 
Hey, we need a strike to start off this season here. No pressure, Ryan. No pressure. Come on. If not, we'll all show up to the next council meeting. There we go. Good job. Thank you, Mitch. All right. Thank you, Mitch Mashburn. He's our new inductee with the pony shirt now. Okay, this concludes our ceremony. The Vacaville High School Drumline will lead us out with a little bit of their music. Uh, don't forget to sign up for the Home Run Derby taking place tomorrow during the pitchers. Let's sign up out here. Oh, no drumline. All right, guys. I want to hear loud, really loud, on three. Let's get a loud play ball, guys. It's going to start out our season. Ready? One, two, three. All right, let's go get it, guys. And that's a wrap. Hey guys, I want to thank you for tuning in. This has been the Media Man Production.